Hey there, thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. So today is going to be a really fun video. I'm going to be telling you things that you should have in mind or don't do or don't have the mindset of if you want to come and live in London or even stay in London for a minute. If this is something you think you'll enjoy, sit back, relax, and have a good time watching this video. My name is Stephanie and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. As, as I said, it's going to be a fun video. So please grab your drinks and let us get into the things that you should not think or do if you're coming to London. So the first thing, wasting time with your Oyster card or your travel card. Obviously, right now you can tap with contactless. When you come out of the train, start finding that card. Don't go and stand there and be doing like this because someone will just push you. Or someone will just, you just be irritating everybody. You just be saying as a more trainer, you just see people's faces just like, what's wrong with this one? So you're just stepping out of the tube or the train, hold that card and, you know, be ready <laughs> to tap it immediately. <laughs> the second one, in London, do not come to London expecting to pay cash on the bus i'm sure some other cities have even stopped that but i'm still sure there are some places where you go and then you're entering the bus and you're giving the man cash or you're even trying to pay with your card you don't pay for anything like the the tickets on london buses you if you have your contactless service you can tap and it, it will be deducted straight but you don't come and start carrying five pounds and say you want to buy one ticket or nah we don't do that anymore in london get your oyster card or get a contactless card that actually works because yeah see people with contact less cards from some countries that you know do not come to london i think you're the fastest person walking like if you like be doing ben johnson be doing fast work you know how they say walk rates your chest let so you get your cardio up no matter how fast you're walking especially during a <laughs> rush hour there is always someone walking faster than you do not leave your house without city you guys forget google maps so forget google maps do not leave your house without city mapper or move it the old app i like is move it because it tells you literally how the bus is driving to you it tells you how much you're going to spend on that trip google maps will kind of give you an idea of where you're going you know the stations but google maps and timing trash move it or city mapper will tell you where there's a delayed service will tell you where there's an issue somewhere as you're leaving there the second it's happening so do not leave your house without city mapper or move it i'll link move it down for you because that's one i really love and the next one sorry and excuse me should not even be like out of bounds for your mouth like your mouth should be used to saying sorry or excuse me sorry so like someone is blocking you can say sorry you know so you want to pass over you can say sorry they are wasting your time to come out you can say excuse me someone hits you you can still say sorry just be ready to say sorry and excuse me let life just be going on in london don't come as asking why did you mm -mm, nobody does that just say sorry for hit for them hit them to the turn i even tell you sorry again maybe when you hit them it's just a crazy sorry and excuse me situation but just be moving on if you don't know how to tolerate a fake smile don't even come like even children know how to give that smile it's so annoying if it's not a train someone is staring stupidly at you you now look you now give that very annoying it's nothing there's nothing friendly about that smile it's disgusting so if you can't tolerate it, maybe just stay in your own another city or something. Because London will give you fake smile for this. Even sometimes you so you don't know when you just be like you see escalator, you and your friend now come and hold each other on an escalator. Nah, we don't do that here. On that escalator, don't even stand on the left, just stand on the right. If you're not ready, you're not going fast. No, in London, we're all rushing. So if you're not part of us rushing that day, maybe today's your chill day on the escalator, just stay by the right. That left lane is for people who are moving on the move. Since we're talking about the underground, for most of this uh, London gist is underground travel and stuff because that's a lot of what we do in this city. You're trying to go from Covent Garden to Leicester Square. You now see two of them on Piccadilly line and you want to use the Piccadilly line to get to them. Now walk the walk because it's just like five minutes. Walk that walk because by the time you go into the, the, this thing, tap, enter the lift is a waste of time. Just if you're going to stations like Covent Garden to Leicester Square, walk. Charing Cross to Embankment Station, walk. You heard me? Then that Covent Garden I just mentioned, when you enter and you see your mates waiting for elevator, you now want to use the stairs. <laughs> Don't try it. Do not, like it's out of bounds. Except maybe you've not walked out for like a year and you decide to, you know, bring out your muscles that day. That's the day you want to get your cardio pumping. Yes, you cannot go start working on Covent Garden staircase. If not, follow your mates and enter the elevator. You see the lift arrow telling you the next lift that's available. Rush into it, please. The next one. You see how you see one station that will have different lines, different colors. Always they have different lines. When you see bank, don't assume such. Just assume bank is central line. Use bank will you show you districts 
Probably shows you, okay, central obviously and districts. You know, okay, it has DLR as well. That's even fine. You now want to enter bank central line and then go to this. That's you doing a journey. <laughs> you, by the time you get to that, you see monuments. You never wonder what's happening here. Bank and monuments are connected in a way that they call them one station. So by, by the time you do that work, just wear sneakers. Sure. These wear sneakers, you can, you can be good for a worker. But if you wear heels in the morning, you're trying to get to district line monuments. You now enter through bank saying you, you could change the... Nah, that's one of the biggest lies on the underground. So just be aware and then just make changes if possible. Necessary alterations to that your journey. Try to change our bank. Nah, boo. <laughs> Wrong move. Headphones and a book are your best friends. For me, I use my headphones and my phone. I'm not doing, going on the internet. I try not to go on the internet on the train. I try and edit my pictures, delete pictures and stuff. But yeah, my headphones are my besties. Headphone, power bank, or a book. I used to read books before, guys. Still talking about the underground. When you get to your station, you stand. When you're on the train, you touch. It's crazy. When you get to underground in London, you just wait for it to open doors. But at the train, you could have stopped. You are waiting for it to open because you're used to the tube and it will just leave you and go to another station. Also, even listen on that train. Some trains will tell you, stay in the first eight carriages. If not, you get to your station, you think will open. Everybody will be opening to the other side. So make sure you pay attention. On the train, you touch the doors open for you on the tube you stand and it's open for you taking food recommendations from your colleagues your mates your friends is a very good thing because it will just save you your money from going to somewhere that is stupid that you think oh the branch here was good this one nah so taking food recommendations even a fun way because there's so many food places so you're getting food recommendations for people if you're someone who doesn't like it just leave london talking about the underground guys my worst underground it's not even the worst per se but it's actually the worst because my to me is the central line it smells there's one smell the thing has it's now long it's not always packed it's uh, baker is an old line but baker is still sharp like they don't waste time pew, pew, pew. Their, their seats are very padded and old but central line my best underground i would say is victoria because i think they cater to us very well they are very responsible they come like every two seconds they are very very frequent then a uh, metropolitan line and another second line they used to be really old before but now they're really pretty if i'm going to do it photo shoots on the other guy to be metropolitan and the uh, district you know with those yellow poles or whatever very nice always very neat i think they're all new that's why but central line next following clues is northern and jubilee well, central line is the worst, guys. I don't know. There's one smell that line has that <laughs> I don't like at all. Child leaves. When you're in London, like, you just know that money is going to leave me. I said, I just leave your house. Money is going to come out. The money is going to leave me today. Money will always leave your account living in London. That said, guys, London is a very, very fun place. Fun fact, London is my favorite city in the whole world. And guess, I'm, I'm a bit well-traveled, but I love my London. I love the hustle and bustle. I just love the madness. I love the fact that I will stand on the road and I'm just inspired. I don't like the fact that everybody's on the go, on the go on the go on the go what's your favorite city in the uk or what's your favorite city in the world leave it in the comment section and if there's any other way you want us to survive london or you don't have it you want us to possess <laughs> we are coming to london please leave it in the comment section thank you for watching this video please share it with your friends your family and your enemies follow me on instagram at metro gypsy and i'll see you on the next episode bye bye enjoy london